Dear friends, hello. My name is Dr. Anurag Saxena. I am Senior Consultant Neurosurgeon and Spine Surgeon. And today we are going to talk with you regarding minimally invasive spine surgery. So what exactly is minimally invasive spine surgery? It is also sometimes called as a keyhole spine surgery. It means that doing surgery with the minimum possible incision or sometimes a small cut or a puncture wound in your spine is called as a keyhole. And through that we can do complex spine surgeries nowadays with like taking your herniated disc out, relieving your sciatica or putting screws into the spine. Now these are done with very tiny incisions and without any blood loss and sometimes minimal or no muscle dissection at all. The main indications are obviously any spinal disease which can cause you pain like sciatica, degenerative spine diseases where spinal fixations are needed like putting rods and screws and doing complex spinal fixations. Uh, surgeries which are related to abnormal curvature of the spine called as kyphosis or scoliosis surgeries and nowadays with advent of neon technologies and scopes we are able to do tumor surgeries with minimally invasive technique also. Now how this kind of surgeries are done? These are usually done with use of special instruments and special techniques and in a special operation theater with uh, uh, readily available endoscopes, C-arms and uh, other special equipments. It involves putting a small cut in your back and then through small cuts we put a small scope uh, sometimes the size of a pen or sometimes even smaller and through this scope we are able to take your discs out do complex fixations sometimes with the small cuts we are able to put screws in which involves putting needles in it and then through that seated dilatation of the muscles it doesn't cause any muscle cutting or bleeding as was done in conventional surgeries and this is separation of the muscle, the muscle goes back after the surgery is done. So when the muscle goes back to their normal place, obviously there is no trauma to the muscle and the, that's the main advantage of the surgery that after these kind of surgeries you are able to immediately within few days or sometimes within few hours you are able to walk, you are able to do your activities normally and you are discharged very quickly. So the obvious advantages are minimum complications, minimum pain, minimum blood loss, early recovery and early resumption of work. But there are some limitations of this surgery as it is a rapidly evolving field. There are yet new indications which are being developed for this kind of surgeries. However, in certain cases where endoscopic or spinal surgery is not possible, we have to restore to conventional surgeries and use microscope to give the desired results. I hope this information was helpful. Thank you.